Uh, so at ASCO, we're presenting the initial results of the therapy trial. Uh, this is a randomized phase two trial of lutetium PSMA 617 compared to carbazitaxel in men with metastatic castration resistant prostate cancer who have progressed after docetaxel. And this was an investigator initiated trial run by the ANZAP Cancer Clinical Trials Group uh, in Australia and uh, funded by the Prostate Cancer Foundation of Australia. Uh, this was a 200 patient trial uh, with 100 men randomized in each arm, uh, one to one uh, lutetium PSMA uh, versus carbazitaxel. Uh, the trial completed recruitment uh, last year and the primary endpoint, uh, which is PSA response, defined by a PSA reduction of more than 50% uh, from baseline uh, was positive with a 66% uh, of men in the lutetium arm achieving uh, a PSA 50 response rate compared to 37% in the carbazitaxel arm. So that's a 29% absolute greater uh, PSA 50 response rate with lutetium PSMA compared to uh, carbazitaxel. And that really met our predefined endpoint of uh, more than 20% absolute improvement uh, in this primary endpoint. And we also report uh, some of the initial results of some secondary uh, endpoints. These require uh, ongoing follow-up uh, to define them definitively. Uh, most importantly, PSA progression-free survival uh, appears to be prolonged uh, in the lutetium PSMA arm with a hazard ratio of 0 0.69. And we also looked at adverse events uh, between the two arms and we saw grade three or four adverse events were greater with carbazitaxel occurred in 54% of men uh, who received carbazitaxel compared to 35% of men who received uh, lutetium PSMA. So this is in, to some extent a similar population to the uh, CARD trial, which really uh, showed that carbazitaxel is a you know, relevant and active treatment in this men in these in these men, and we started this trial obviously before the CAR trial was available. Uh, so this was on the basis of previous results showing that carbazitaxel improved overall survival compared to mitoxantrone. But I think our results are now even more relevant uh, now that the CAR trial is published, uh, because essentially what we're showing is in this population, if you have a choice between carbazitaxel uh, or lutetium PSMA it appears that lutetium PSMA is more active than carbazitaxel as marked by the higher PSA response rate with relatively fewer grade three to four toxicities and a PSA progression-free survival uh, favoring lutetium PSMA. Uh, what we're waiting for in this trial is ongoing follow-up which will define radiologic progression-free survival, uh, quality of life and overall survival. And you know we hope to have those results later this year. The take-home line is probably that the results of this, uh, it's the first randomized trial of lutetium PSMA uh, presented anywhere. There is a uh, American industry sponsored trial called the Vision Trial that you're probably aware of, uh, which has not been reported yet. And uh, uh, this trial has, I think, a active control arm being carbazitaxel, whereas the Vision Trial really has a best standard of care control arm, which was quite limited. It was more like the CARD trial, sort of Abienza crossover in patients that had already had Abienza as the control arm. Uh, so we think we have a, a more real world active control arm in this study. Uh, but the results you know, really do tell us that lutetium PSMA represents a potential new class of effective therapy for these men with metastatic castration resistant prostate cancer.